So let's get it started. First of all, what you want to do, uh, what you want to do is install a module FV chat. To install this module, open your command prompt and type pip install FV chat. Since I have both Python 2 and Python 3 installed on my machine, therefore I need to specify for which version of Python I need to install this module. Therefore, I will write Python 3 m pip install FV chat. If you have only installed Python 3 on your machine, then you do not need to write Python 3M, you will only write pip install fvchat. And this should install the module on your uh, computer. Now what you want to do is create a new Python file. I have already created a new Python file. And we will, uh, we will start by importing the dependencies. The first thing we want to import is from fvchat import client and log the second thing which we want to import is from fpchat dot models import everything and oh right sorry now what we want to do is create a new class you can name the class anything you want i'll name it jarvis and this class will extend the class client so let's extend it there we go now we need to override a method on message and what this method does is this method will give you the information about the message you received and the person who sent you the message so there are many arguments but uh, some of them are useless for us at this moment uh, we do not need MID we do not need the message argument we do not need we need thread we need thread type we do not need TS metadata or message but instead we need KWARGS this is the argument which we need so these are the arguments which we need so as soon as we receive a message uh, when we open a message on Facebook, the message is uh, marked as read. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll do the same for our bot. As soon as we receive a message and we open it, we will mark the message as read. The mark as read argument takes one parameter, which is author ID. Now let's print the information of the message we receive in the console. For that, we will use log dot info and what you want to print is message form in so basically uh, what this is is let's format it first message object thread id and thread type so message object contains the information rel uh, related to your message which is the message text the emojis in the message and media if there is any media attached in the message etc the thread id is the id of the sender who sent you the message and thread type is the type of the chat that is either it is a personal chat or it is a group chat so this will print the message in the console if you want only the message text and not the whole object you can store it like uh, let's create object 
message text and the message object or text will give you the uh, will give you only the text of the message so let's say now we want to reply the sender with a string hello world all right so um, we will write reply uh, we will uh, declare a variable reply and assign it as string hello world now to reply the sender first we need to check if author id is not equals to self dot uid so what this does is uh, it checks if the author id is not equals to the user id that is you are not the author of the message in other words you uh, you are replying to someone else not your uh, you are not checking this condition for your own message so this is a bit confusing thing anyways uh, what we want to do is call a method self dot send this method takes three parameter the first one is the message object the message object itself takes another parameter which is the text of the message which is uh, which we stored in this reply variable so we will say text equals to reply the second uh, argument for the send uh, uh, method is thread id which is equals to the thread id Be uh, because the id of the sender is stored in the thread id variable therefore thread id is equals to thread id and the third variable the variable is thread type which is also equals to thread type since thread type here it contains the information for the thread type and that's uh, that's yes that's pretty much it now all you need to do is create a create a object for the uh, file you just created so, yeah. <clears throat> this uh, uh, this file will, uh, uh, this constructor will take two parameters which are your credentials for the facebook account which is your email address and password i have stored my email address and password in the credentials file so i need to import that file you can direct uh, you can directly plug in your email address and password there uh, credentials and here i will write credential dot email and credentials dot password remember you can uh, just write your email address and password here i have i stored them in a separate file so that uh, nobody can see it and try to log in from my account now the last thing you want to do is call a method client dot listen what this method will do is it will listen for any new incoming message and as soon as you receive a new message on facebook it will uh, trigger this method what this method will do is it will mark the message as read it will uh, print out the information of that message and the sender sender in the console and send them uh, and will send the sender a message hello world it will send this message to the person who sent you uh, the message or it started the conversation what we want to uh, i forgot to do one thing here we also have to do is self dot uh, mark as delivered because you have uh, since you have sent a new message here you also have to mark that message as delivered the arguments which this method takes is thread id and and, and and yes thread id or thread id and thread id okay so that's pretty much it let uh, let's run the code so as you can see it's attempting to log in from my account and once it has been successfully logged in it will start listening for any new incoming message uh, let me clone my screen here so this is my phone screen it's as you can see it's listing for new messages so let me log in from another account and send myself a message uh, as you can see i will send myself uh, i've sent myself here mate so as you can see it triggered an event here and uh, I got an instant reply from my profile with hello world so let's get 
into the console part here as amend an event occurred it gave me a message the a message i received was here mate and no one was mentioned in the message there was no emoji uh, and there was no attachment in the message and the message i received uh, from the user got the id 100037 and this this was the user id who sent me the message and i replied that user with a string hello world no one was mentioned in my reply there was no emoji and there was no attachment all right so this is the most basic version of a chatbot in the next video i will uh, teach you how you can use neural network for a better chatbot which will uh, trigger a better conversation and which will reply in many ways not just a single static string like we said here so if you if you're not familiar with machine learning or neural network there is nothing to worry about because i'm going to teach you about a simple api which is very easy and very fun to use uh, work with and please drop a uh, like comment and subscribe it will help me and encourage me a lot to make more such of these videos and thank you for watching if you have any problem or queries you can drop a comment i'll get to them as soon as i can